Well, some interesting stuff right there on your screen. Do you see the amount of fouls each school has committed? Three each. Of course, Lakewood um, down by a lot and a lot uh, as an understatement. 18 to five your score after the first. Possession arrow pointing in our direction, so we will get it. So here we go, number 42, Lindsey Frederick giving that one to Maddie Miller. Maddie Miller, eight points by the way, likes his fair six points. All part of the game plan that Coach Masson knows, so splendid. I'll give you one thing, this is not like last year, whereas it was a nerve-wracking nail biter. This one looked like a blow. Look at Kendall McCormick! Left hand to left! I'm telling you, people, this is going to be a blowout. Number four, Sydney Hampton with the ball. Hampton steps back, Sydney Hampton going in, Hampton passing down the corner, and that's an air ball. That is tipped by Cal Angus to Kendall McCormick. Kendall over to Maddie, trying to find double digits. Pass that to Alexis Durst, trying to find eight points. No good. Cowie on the rebound. There's Maddie Miller. Nice two pointer. And you know that's going in. It's Maddie Miller. Double digits tonight as Sydney Hampton has the ball. 22 to 5. Double teams. Jackie Hudak with it. Hudak on the right side being guarded by Kendall. 21. Dwayne Garcia passing that back. Coach Madison still yet to call timeout, but considering how all this game is going, I don't think he'd ever want to. Hudak shot, not going in the end, and now it's always 22 to 7. You got 3.14 if you divide 22 by 7. That is pot, except it's not 159265385. Alexis like Ferris walks up, fires a three ball, no good, and that ball going right to Hudak. Hudak being guarded by Lindsey Frederick being forced towards the sideline. Good screen right there by number four Hampton. And that pass right through the hands of Lloyd Germain. Give it to the Hornets. Well, that's the thing that's really been haunting the Rangers out here all night. They just cannot get anything cooking. Someone may want to check out Lakewood's chef because nothing's cooking in the kitchen and the chef might be dead. I know, that's kind of dark. Lindsay Frederick, Kevin McCormick, you left her open and the three ball no good. And it is going to be tipped, Maddie Miller. Nice two point, easy money for Maddie Miller. Was an easy money a Rodney Dangerfield movie? Timeout. Football score 24-7. Just this game is something. I mean, yeah, 24-7. Patty has like 12 points, I think. And as I did say, it, like the Rodney Dangerfield movie, it is easy money. Of course, try to think of a Rodneyism. Lakewood's playing so ugly that. I don't know, I'm not good at it, but if you get the gist, we're on fire out here, and St. Joe's is most likely awaiting. Look at how well we're doing out there, 24-7. Coach Work is sweating bullets out there, down by 17. I mean, considering the season stuff, you didn't expect it to be much, but still, I didn't expect it to be at least somewhat decent. However, Lakewood just not getting anything clicking through the first 10 minutes and 3 seconds. You don't get no respect. Finally, a Ronnie Dangerfield quote. Hampton passing mid-court. That's in the Hampton being guarded by Kendall. Going to the left side. She is spinning and she is looking and she is going to try to pass that one to number 5. Jackie Hudak. Hudak going in. That's a tough shot. No good. And it went out on us. Give it to the Rangers. Well, it's been snowing over the past few days, but I don't think there will be a snow day. That means tomorrow will be an A day. A bad pass, but number four, Hampton, is there. Hampton passing that to Hudak. Hudak looking to try and get away from Lindsay. Passing that back here. Number 21, Garcia, going to go to Henriksen. Molly Henriksen not attempting a three. She'll try to do it herself. And who else? Lindsay Frederick on the rebound. Look out for Kendall. 
Here's a three ball. Maybe oh, that's good. No, it's not good. Oh, I spoke too soon. And that one out on us. Give it to the Rangers. And Taren Kenny's coming in right now. Yep. She's coming in for Lindsay. Number four, Sydney Hampton will most likely get it here. Hampton passing that back, trying to get through that though. Team big pass to Dwayne Garcia, and she misses. And the rebound there is going to be up for bid, and that'll be two easy points for number four, Sydney Hampton. Anyone can do that, even I could. And I'm not good at basketball. We're still down by a golly ton. Maddie Miller thought about the three. Tyron Kenny thought about the three as well, and Tyron Kenny took one too many steps. Without dribbling the ball, I'll give it to the Rangers. Well, never good to see a travel call, but you know, Terrence Kenny's still doing good out there. Seeing Maddie and Alexis just light it up like a pinball machine. It's really satisfying, especially in the playoffs. Oh boy, nice shot there, but no good by Jermaine. She even got past Kendall as well. And speaking of Kendall, there she is with it. Kendall McCormick on the right side. Kendall McCormick going in. Kendall McCormick, crazy shot, all too far, and that'll be taken away by Lakewood, unfortunately. 21 Garcia would have the ball, but this thing is not working again. Oh my god. And we got it again. And there goes Kendall! Two points! All right, that's fine. Jumped in at the right time. 26-7. My God, what is going on with Luke? Well, no, 26-9, actually. Henriksen on the left side. We're, we're halfway through the court. We to see him. Just adding on. You know what they say. When it rains, it pours. Kendall McCormick slowly dribbling past midcourt. We can literally have nobody up there for the good guys in the second half. And we'd still be like, it, Kendall! No, don't look at that. That's no good. Garcia on the rebound, they'll have Ava Carroll in on the next inbound. Hampton with it, Sydney Hampton going to try to get past tough defense, driving, and there's a pass all the way back. And look out, there they go to number 12, Jermaine misses. And Alexis Ferris doing Alexis Ferris things by grabbing yet another rebound. Kendall just slowing down time, I mean you're up by 17. Being up by 20 would be really dandy, Kendall loves threes. But she'll pass it to Alexis, who passes that to Elena. Bump fake, strive, left hand, oh, that did not go in. Jermaine on the rebound, Jermaine passes that to Jackie Hudak. Hudak gonna pass midcourt. Hudak with less than three minutes left in this quarter. Hudak with the pass deep to the left side. Molly Henriksen, Henriksen going to 12, that's Louis Jermaine. Willie Germain gonna go back to Henriksen. Henriksen loads up, fires a three, and nothing's going in for this Rangers squad. And Jackie Hudak contributes to the missed shot charity, I guess. Coach Madison gonna call timeout, but he is just overjoyed with what's been going on. 228 left, I think. We're up by 17. Well, that timeout's done with, and it was in the next two minutes and 28 seconds. We're at halftime, and we're up by, of course, 17 points. Of course, sorry for not getting the pregame show. It's just that, well, there was no audio for or before the lineups and stuff, and Maddie with it. Maddie going to pass that one. Lindsey Frederick. Lindsey being double teamed. Now Liquid bringing on the heat. Maddie Miller jumping, and that shot no good, but she got fouled. It's been a while since we've seen foul. Is that the first foul this quarter? I think so. Oh, no. Hopefully tomorrow I can be uh, at the game where the Hornets boys team will play Talmadge. Maddie Miller gets it in because she's just been on fire beyond reason. Savannah and Lindsay will switch spots. Of course, tomorrow Second check goes in. We're going to be talking with the athletic department on what I'm going to be doing for tomorrow night. And now Samantha Hudak with it. Samantha Hudak going in as that will float her way off target. My goodness, nothing is going well for this Lakewood Rangers team. And that's off target. Savannah falls down. That's going to be a travel call by Savannah. Give it to the Rangers. I'm going to recognize that. Brooke is hurt. 
Delaney's yeah. not playing. Warren's not playing, and we're still just doing unbelievable out here. Really just a beautiful sight to see. Sydney Hampton with it. Sydney Hampton going uh, pass that way. Number 11, and Carol, Carol's rejected. Lindsay takes it away. High pass. Good job there by Savannah Gaddon. Now Maddie Miller with the ball. Maddie Miller passing midcourt. Maddie Miller going in. Maddie Miller with a tough shot. She scores! 30-9! As this game continues to be a blowout. This is fun. Samantha Hudak with the ball. Samantha behind the back dribble right there. That's fantastic. As there's a drive and that's my back. Hudak is missing that three. And that'll be a possession. Give it to the Rangers. You know what that means? We've got the ball to start off in the third quarter. As long as if there are no possession battles. Callie and Savannah are gonna sit down. Kendall and Alexis will sit up. Well, if you root for the Rangers, you'd be bummed out to hear that they're down 30 to 9 as those shots aren't going in because no shot is going in for Lakewood at all tonight. Meanwhile, Maddie Miller is gonna score again. She is just sizzling. Remember last night when I said that Owen Simmons and Simon Callahan were like the two guys from NBA Jam when they're on fire? That is pretty much the entire team out here tonight. Rejected! And here they go. That's McAuliffe. John yeah, McAuliffe found the bucket. Well, there's something that goes the way of Lakewood. What at what cost? Down 32 to 11. So I can play an NBA live. The PlayStation 2 one's not the modern one. We all know modern day NBA live. It's awful. But I'm on rookie difficulty. Even so, I don't think my rookie difficulty games are like this. Maddie Miller. Game guard tightly. Who that can poke it away? But Maddie Miller is going to trip and fall down, and she'll get fouled out there. Getting closer to the bonus, Gianna McAuliffe. There's who the referee was signaling to. She committed the foul. Kendall to Lindsay. Lindsay in the corner. Lindsay Frederick and Craig. Lindsay Frederick is going to miss that. Oh, and it's a scene, all right place, right time. This Hornets team is everywhere. It's almost as if there are 100 Hornet players and one for Lakewood. Good act. Going to pass that one. That's number 10, Molly Pilgrim. And there's a 10th drive. Rejected! Why is this Is that second chance shot? No good. Ball tipped up in the air. Kendall McCormick swipes that one away. And oh my goodness, this might be... One of the biggest whippings I have ever seen in nearly two years of announcing high school basketball. 34 12 at the half. Can we just say we're going to play most likely St. Joe's by now? I think so. Halftime. My God. Up by 22. 